Okay, now we have Dr. Nate Story, inventor of the vertical farm wall here. Um, we're going to have simultaneous translation for this portion of the presentation. Okay, ora vi presentiamo il Dr. Nate Story, l'inventore del nostro verticale che vedete alla vostra sinistra. Per questa parte farò la traduzione, quindi se guardate solo l'italiano venite a vedere perché sarà molto interessante. I'm uh, Nate Story. My company is Bright Agritech, and uh, we manufacture and design um, high-intensity production facilities. This is a really, really great place to uh, talk about what we do, because we're standing right next to uh, the green wall that is full of our uh, production uh, towers. So we are a um, we are a startup company, a brand new company, and uh, we specialize in production equipment. So we focus on uh, designing the equipment that allows people to grow more uh, produce and less space. The heart and soul of our, uh, of our technology and our company, of course, is uh, the Zipro Tower, which is um, basically what you're looking at over here. So um, the tower started as, as part of my research at, at, at the university, and uh, I turned it into a company uh, once I graduated. And uh, we started this company. We're in a tiny town in Wyoming, in the middle of nowhere in the US. Um, and it's ironic now that we find ourselves growing in urban environments, in cities all over the world. So um, our, uh, our company is almost more of a design company than a manufacturing company in a lot of ways. Uh, because we, we try to solve problems with every piece of equipment that we create. We try to take something uh, that many people are intimidated by and feel is complex and simplify it. And uh, being in the United States in a place where there is not enough water, much of the time we focus on uh, water conservation as well. Kind of at the core of our philosophy is, is making uh, healthy food more available to everybody. And uh, much of that comes down to where, the, where it is grown and how far it travels from the producer to the consumer. We think that the outcome of this is essentially democratizing agriculture and making, uh, giving people more opportunities to farm no matter where they're located. The end product of this is that we end up looking at cities and urban environments very often when we're trying to find new places to grow and new ways to grow food. This is the Zipro Tower. It's at the heart of what we do. It's a very simple, uh, simple growing technique that allows us to grow vertically um, which means that now instead of growing on a single plane, we can grow uh, in a volume. So we, we focus on growing volume as opposed to growing space. These are designed to uh, increase production. So when they're stacked, we can typically increase the production per square foot by about three times. Um, they're designed to be easily irrigated, and the media that's inside them is designed to foster very diverse microbial communities. So uh, it enhances kind of the, the microbiology of the growing environment. And the reason for that was we originally started our company by farming with these using fish waste. So waste from fish production was the hydroponic solution um, for our produce. That's what we grew our produce on. That was the nutrient solution. And the original idea is we could use waste output from um, fish production as the input for our plant production. Then beyond that, just sim beyond the s simple biology, um, we, we started to look at the use. So how people use these things. And uh, this is kind of unique in the field because most production techniques don't take into account the user. So um, we began to think very long and hard about the user experience uh, with, with the technique itself. We started as farmers. So my company started essentially as a farming company. Um, and as we began growing with our techniques, we decided that we needed to offer this equipment to the world. This gave us a very farmer mentality when it comes to growing in our equipment. Now much of our production happens in cities and uh, increasingly we've begun doing more indoor production, so using artificial light uh, to grow plants with, um, in warehouses, in unused space, in any, any kind of undervalued space. So um, we, we have a variety of different growers now from people that are growing on the sides of buildings to people that are growing in warehouses to traditional greenhouses to um, even setting these up in field. And this here is a simple illustration of uh, an indoor growing setup where we have towers set up on racks and then lights that uh, move back and forth on robotic light movers. Another aspect of our technology is that it is very modular which allows us to do live sales in supermarkets. 
This is uh, really important for producers because 60% of their cost is post-harvest labor and packaging. That basically means that in the United States, when you buy a head of lettuce um, for a dollar, the farmer is only getting 40 cents of that. So um, this new model is uh, the farmer will take the tower full of produce directly to the market, and the consumer will harvest it at the market, package it, take it home, and do all of that work and packaging for the farmer. The funny thing is that the consumer is willing to pay more to do the work for the farmer. So it, it's an interesting model that we're getting some good traction with in the United States that uh, I think is helping farmers to make a lot more money while simultaneously delivering much more value to the consumer. As a part of our model now, we've gotten away from um, being entirely about hardware, and we're focusing more on education. So most of our customers are brand new to farming. So now what, what, much of what we do is we help farmers get started. So we give them the education, and we give them the confidence to um, start a business. So um, around our models, we've built an online university and a peer-to-peer -peer sharing network. And uh, this basically allows people to get started, it gives them confidence, it makes them feel comfortable with going out and starting a business. Um, and the second aspect of that is uh, software. So we help, uh, now, we, now we create software that helps uh, these farmers manage their farms and essentially uh, take something that took many years of expertise to do traditionally and simplifies it to the extent that people can get going very quickly and be very effective uh, right off the bat. So I've just got a couple of slides here of um, some examples of some of our farmers. Um, this is a farm called Local Greens in Berkeley, California. Uh, they grow in a warehouse that's attached to a Whole Foods supermarket. Basically, the uh, food, it's uh, about 250 feet uh, from the growing facility to uh, the consumer. This is uh, a picture of a freight farm or a container farm. And these are another uh, way that our, our customers are using towers to grow with, and uh, they can literally pack an entire farm into a freight container. And uh, so this this is becoming increasingly popular for like restaurant sales, for people that want to grow on a smaller scale and supply a restaurant with uh, green produce. And then of course, um, the model that I have the most excitement about is the vertical growing uh, like this, like this wall here. Ecco, quello di cui è più entusiastico è il modello che vedete qua alla vostra sinistra, che è il nostro ottimale.